Algebra 1 9.2b, Solve and Graph Conjunctions and Intersections. We can solve and graph a conjunction of two inequalities in one variable by first solving each inequality separately. Now, look at this one. Even though it starts with this negative 6, we would read it as 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 6 and less than 10. See? We rewrite the conjunction by using the word and to make two statements. And the statement is read as 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 6 and 2x plus 4 is less than 10. See? So we've got this blue side and then we've got this pink side. See? So here's the blue side and here's the pink side. So now we've got 2 with the word and in front of it. See that? Just remember to start reading the middle of the inequality signs if there's more than one of them. So because there, were, there was an inequality here and an inequality sign here, we start reading in the center, okay? Just remember that, all right? Now we can solve each inequality separately. So this was the blue side, that was the pink side, and we treat that just as if it was an equal sign, just like we've done before, and we can use an additive inverse and make a zero pair, can't we? So we can take away this 4 from this side by doing a minus 4, and so we'll take away 4 from this side because we have to do the same thing to each side, don't we? This becomes a negative 10 on this side, and this becomes just the 2x because we created a zero pair here, didn't we? Now we've got negative 10 is less than or equal to 2x. We can divide both sides by this coefficient 2 create our buddy the invisible one, that identity property, and now we get negative 5 is less than or equal to x. Now we can do this side. We can take this 4 away from each side of this one also, can't we? And we get 2x is less than 6 because this created a zero pair. Now we divide each side by the coefficient 2, identity property, get our friend the invisible one. We have x is less than 3. There's our solution. Now we rewrite our answer in an abbreviated form and write our solution in set builder notation with this. We have negative 5 is less than or equal to x, and we only need to write one of the x's. We don't need to write both of them, see? And then we put the less than 3. Graphed, it would look like this. It includes, because of the or equal, it includes the negative 5, but it doesn't include the 3. See? So we use a filled in dot and an open dot. In interval notation, we would use a bracket on the negative 5 and a parentheses on the 3, and then that's our solution. So in set builder notation, all we have to do with this is put the x and the such that line and put our set braces. See? All we had to do was this. See? And we were done. In interval notation, we would write the bracket and the negative 5 and then a comma and then the 3 with the parentheses. See? Now we can also write it in set builder notation with, this is the way we did do it, okay, with the x in the center. We could also do it with the word and in it and do the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and x is less than 3. We could have done it that way, but by doing it this way, all we had to do was add this such that bar, the x, and the set braces. See? All right, now it says solve 3x is less than or equal to 12 and 2x is greater than 4. So first we solve them separately. This is going to be easy because all we have to do is divide each side by this 3 coefficient to get our buddy the invisible 1, that identity property, and we get x is less than or equal to 4. See? 12 divided by 3. And on this side, we divide each side by this coefficient 2 and identity property, get our friend the invisible 1, and we get x is greater than 2. 4 divided by 2. See? Now we can graph it. This 2 is not included, see, because it's greater than 2 and it's less than or equal to 4. The 4 is included, so we have an open dot here and a closed dot there. In interval notation, it would be 
a parentheses here to show not included and a bracket here to show it is included. Now, I want you to look at this. It says x is less than or equal to 4, and when we write the answer, we reverse the sign because the x is now in the center. See? The x is up front here. We want the x in the center. So we have to reverse this sign because x is less than 4. If the x is in the center, the less than has to be facing the x. See? So the sign got reversed. So in set builder notation, we can write it with the x and the less than or equal to going this direction if we write it as the set of all x such that x is less than or equal to 4 and x is greater than 2. If we just want to write it this way, then we have to have that sign flipped around, don't we? Because it's got to be with the less than part facing the x, doesn't it? See? In the first version, the inequality sign is reversed because the x is in front right here. When we put the x into the center, we've got to flip that inequality sign around, okay? All right. Our next video, 9.2c, we're going to talk about disjunctions and unions. If you want to see a video about graphing conjunctions and intersections, that was our first video, 9.2a, or the union of sets or sets and elements of a set, or how to do roster and set builder notation, or intersections and empty sets, there'll be links to these videos so you can just click on them, okay, in the description of this video, all right? I've been doing that for this Algebra 1 playlist, okay? And remember, in my grade 8 math playlist, there's also things about inequalities, okay? So if you want a little extra help, you can breathe through the grade 8 math playlist. I'll see you next video. Bye.